evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Australia's most credible breakfast show. This morning, broadcasting on a frequency of 104.9 of the finest handcrafted megahertz available anywhere in the world. And now, please make welcome a man who's often been described as, uh, well, as, uh, uh, Doug Molly. Mm, no crap. Communication fact, not fabrication. Triple M F M, the Stodge Free Station. <laughs> hey kids, they're here at last. Cute, cuddly playmates from a magical kingdom far away. They're soft, they're lovable, and they can talk too. They're the f swear bears. Hello, you snot nosed. Shit. My name is Filthy. Who the f are you? They're educational. Mommy, what's a f toll? Where did you hear that? My swear bear told me. But most of all, they're fun. Mom, I'm bored. Well, why don't you go and play with your swear bears, darling? I did, but they told me to f off. The swear bears, available now from Uncle Grubby's Toy Warehouse. And don't forget the new range of smutty Smurfs and black backdoor teddy bears. <laughs> why should the kids have all the fun? What a rude person! You can't hide a mojo ad. The corniest they've ever had. With all the Aussie flavour, they're doing us a favour. But it ends up driving us mad. Just another mojo tune. I wish it'd disappear real soon. The rhyme is just a fluke. God, I wanna puke. It's just another mojo, just another mojo, just another mojo. <sighs> Plus tributes for an icon of Sydney's airwaves, Doug Mulray, who's died aged 71. For a limited time only, Strathfield Car Radio's 105 Special is here again. That's a 105 Special on an AM FM radio cassette. With 60 watt 7 band graphic equaliser and 100 watt 4 way speaker system, it's all just $105. That's right, AM FM cassette, 60 watt 7 band equaliser and 100 watt speakers, only 105 bucks. Jive away! Impulse Perfume If a strange man comes up to you and gives you flowers, that's impulse. Oh, it's also very embarrassing. I can't accept flowers from you. I mean, I'm a married man. Oh, well, maybe just a quick pims. <laughs> impulse. The perfume that attracts strange men. For me? Oh, thanks very much. Hello, Joy Manure, JP, for less than best. I'm president of the Australian Varicose Vein Society, and I recommend less than best to everyone. Take this week, for example. Everything in the store has been slashed. That's why it's so cheap. For those of you who don't make your own clothes, three-piece vinyl suits, one dollar, and Taiwanese children's underwear with very little risk of disease, only two cents per item. Less than best, where you don't pay for any fancy quality. What a load of bullshit. Complete nut of bullshit. Oh, don't answer that. The man's a bore. What do you remember most about your Nana? Uh, her apple pies. They were really special. Mm. And what we didn't eat for dinner at night, we ground up into a smooth, fine, creamy paste and massaged firmly into Nana's blotchy but shapely calves. Oh, uh, uh, I remember Nana's the way she used to breathe. Nana's apple pies. <sighs> Nana's still looking after you. <coughs> Oh, yes, and we're still looking after Nana. Rub, 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 oh, rub, 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 rub,
Sydney sometimes throws up a rebel who pushes the boundaries. Doug Mulray was one, and that, combined with his broadcasting brilliance, made him a radio icon. Today, after learning of his death, across the airwaves, there was a torrent of tributes. 7.16 now at the tasteful one. He was the voice Sydney woke up to in the 80s and early 90s, always pushing the envelope to the very edge of tasteful, and the listeners loved him for it. Dougie, I've got a lump in my throat, actually. Have you? I've got a lump in my... <laughs> throat too. Uncle Doug Mulray, the first king of the FM airwaves and synonymous with one station. Across the networks this morning, respect. A huge uh, gaping hole has been left in the landscape of FM radio. He was the zeitgeist, wasn't mm. he? He really was the person. Everyone listened to Doug Mulray. Degrees in the Harbour City, Uncle Doug on the radio. It was just, that's, he brought a vibe. It's the vibe. He famously said he had a face for radio. He also had a crack at television as the host of Australia's naughtiest home videos. Didn't go well. Alabaster. <laughs> Fun bags. We apologise for this interruption. The show pulled off air after a phone call from an irate Kerry Packer. Mulray didn't just introduce music, he had his own band. By his side on radio and in life, partner Miss Lizzie. After his retirement, they stayed out of the spotlight for two decades. One of his last public appearances in 2019. The Hall of Fame. It's about time. Vintage Doug Mulray. I have a goal, uh, still certainly, and that's to disappear up my own in a flash of blue flame. One of the future stars whose career he fostered, Andrew Denton. If the world is a glass of water, he was a Barocca. Away from the mic, his intelligence, innovation and shyness are what friends are remembering. He was the kindest, most generous, a really lovable man person I've met. Uncle Doug Mulray was 71. Uh, for now, I'll uh, cop you later. Jane has a party, Nine News. Madam Zender here, best of bimbo and greatest hits granny, debilitated by a decade of distributing doom, but returning by popular demand. Yeah. 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 With just a few of my favorite futures from the past. What? On the old request ends. Hit the jig wherever you are, Fifi moved you. <laughs> Sagittarius, a chariot pulls up in your driveway. And a man in a toga asks if you called a cab in a previous life. <laughs> Capricorn! <laughs> oh dear. Capricorn, next Monday, your wife finds a black hair on your lapel. On Tuesday, she finds a curly hair and... <laughs> and on Wednesday, there's no hair at all. She correctly concludes that you're having an affair with the three stooges. <laughs> Aquarius? Tokyo, New York, London, Paris. You can't spell any of them, dickhead. Pisces? The Gulf War may be over, but your cousin, the Marine, he's listed as waltzing wounded after he's shot by Foxtrot Abdul, the fabulous dancing sniper. There is drunken SPS subtitlers tattoo multilingual fart noises on your buttocks. Taurus, after hearing that the Liberal Party called themselves Libs and that the Labour Party called themselves Labs, you change your mind about joining the country party. What? Gemini, seismic surprise when pressure built up by your dental plates rubbing together is suddenly released and causes an earthquake on your face. Cancer, 
Incontinent air travel when Qantas allows your colostomy bag as cabin luggage, but insists that you store it in the overhead locker. <laughs> Leo? Crush... <laughs> Crush that calls when you're trapped near the pet food counter on pension day. Avago, avoid sincere people when having deep conversations. Your remarks are so shallow you'll give them the bends. Libra, you eat fertilized caviar. Ugh. The fish eggs hatch in your stomach and a thousand sturgeon leap out of your throat. <laughs> no, there's worse. Next year they come back to spawn. <laughs> And Scorpio, you're so full of crap, you gargle with preparation age. <laughs> this has been Madame Zender. I'm getting weary. <laughs> That's the show. Thank you so much for shopping at Triple M, the store with the Christmas spirit. We appreciate your custom and sincerely hope you've had a pleasant time browsing through our extraordinary range of wacky bits and fine music. Should you find yourself dissatisfied in any way with the merchandise, should the wacky bits be a bit out of whack, or the zany bits a tad light on for Zane, just join in the queue at our complaints desk, conveniently situated in Cobar. And remember, as Andrew and I say, bing and phlegm. <laughs> we sometimes say phlegm, but never on Saturday. Oh, Mum, this is Saturday. And now I said bum. Oh, wobblies. Hang on a moment, this show is actually being recorded on Friday, right? So it's okay to say phlegm and bum and wobblies. <laughs> oh, no, but now I've given away the fact that the show isn't done live. Oh, phlegm.
Oh, tuba jelly. Cheerio, everybody. It, copy later. Yeah, but, and, and, yeah, bye. <laughs>